Welcome to Movie Recap, a channel dedicated to those addicted to movies. Our focus is to showcase the best recap of your favorite flick. Sit back, grab your popcorn and get ready to be amazed by August Rush. A street musician's performance of Moondance drew sheltered teenage cellist Lila Novacek and charming Irish singer, songwriter Lewis Connolly together on a moonlit rooftop above Washington Square 12 years ago, where they fell in love. Lila made a commitment to see Lewis again after the most romantic night of her life, but her father hurried her to her next concert. Feeling disheartened, he was unable to carry on performing and ultimately gave up on his music. Meanwhile, Lila, who had been holding out hope for love, was misled into thinking that their unborn child had also perished in an automobile accident months later. Their orphaned son seeks his birth parents using clues found in his musical talent. Spoilers ahead. In the year 1995, Lila Novacek, a talented cellist immersed in her studies at the prestigious Juilliard School, finds herself ensnared in a web of strict rules imposed by her domineering father. Concurrently, Lewis Connolly, the lead singer of an Irish rock band, crosses paths with Lila at a party. Lila, a reserved individual, seeks solace on the rooftop where she encounters Lewis. Their connection leads to a one-night stand but the potential for a lasting relationship is thwarted by Lila's father who vehemently opposes their union. The narrative takes a poignant turn when Lila discovers her pregnancy. An intense confrontation with her overbearing father ensues, escalating to a tragic incident where Lila is struck by a car. The premature birth of her baby boy unfolds while Lila remains unconscious. Unbeknownst to her, Thomas Novacek, Lila's father, clandestinely places the newborn up for adoption. In a heart-wrenching deception, he informs Lila that her son has tragically perished. This series of events sets the stage for a tale of separation, deceit, and the enduring impact of choices made in the midst of intense emotions. Lila's journey, 11 years after the heart-wrenching separation, the baby, now named Evan, resides in a boy's orphanage, living a life far removed from the world of privilege and music that could have been. Assigned to the care of social worker Richard Jeffries, Evan reveals himself as a musical prodigy, possessing savant-like abilities and an impeccable sense of pitch. However, this extraordinary gift becomes a double-edged sword as it subjects Evan to bullying from his peers. Convinced that his parents are out there somewhere searching for him, Evan decides to embark on a journey to find them, guided by the celestial notes of music that seem to echo his destiny. His destination, the bustling streets of New York City. In his pursuit of familial connection, Evan attempts to reach out to Richard Jeffries, the one person who could potentially bridge the gap between his past and present. However, the fates seem to conspire against him, and Evan finds himself unable to contact Jeffries. The plot thickens when, in a twist of fate, Evan accidentally loses Jeffries' contact number, dropping it into a drain, severing his last tangible link to his former life. Determined and resilient, Evan's journey takes an unexpected turn when he encounters a boy named Arthur busking for a living in Washington Square Park. Curiosity propels Evan to follow Arthur to his home, a condemned theater that serves as the makeshift abode for a group of homeless, orphaned, and runaway children under the guidance of a charismatic yet enigmatic figure known as Wizard Wallace. Wizard, an arrogant and aggressive vagrant with a passion for music, takes Evan under his wing. Witnessing Evan's exceptional talent firsthand, a Gibson J150EC guitar, a prized possession among the destitute group. Evan's musical prowess astonishes Wizard to the point that he not only relinquishes his cherished spot in Washington Square Park but also bestows upon Evan the coveted guitar, a symbol of trust, mentorship, and a glimmer of hope in the harsh reality of their existence. August Rush is born, a stage name given to Evan by Wizard as he endeavors to market the young prodigy to clubs and audiences. However, complications arise when Wizard, driven by personal motives, discovers the posters that Richard Jeffries has plastered around the city desperately searching for the runaway Evan. In a desperate bid to maintain his influence over August, Wizard systematically destroys every poster, hoping to retain control over the gifted musician for his own gain. The narrative unfolds against the backdrop of New York's vibrant yet challenging streets, where the echoes of music blend with the cries of the city. August Rush's journey takes a poignant turn as he navigates the complexities of mentorship, friendship, and the yearning for familial connection in the bustling metropolis. As the narrative unfolds, Lewis Connolly, now residing in San Francisco as a talent agent, decides to embark on a poignant journey to reconnect with his past. He makes the life-altering decision to leave behind his girlfriend, Jennifer, in pursuit of the woman whose memory has lingered in the recesses of his heart, Lila Novacek. Meanwhile, Lila has carved out a life for herself as a music teacher in Chicago, a city resonating with the echoes of her lost son. 
Simultaneously, Lila receives a call that draws her back into the past she has been desperately trying to forget. Her father, on his deathbed, delivers a stunning revelation that shatters the foundation of her reality. Her son is alive. In a moment of intense emotion and urgency, Lila abandons her dying father and sets out on a quest to find the child she believed was lost to her forever. Louis, fueled by determination and love, arrives at Lila's apartment in Chicago, only to be misled by misinformation. A well-intentioned but mistaken neighbor informs him that Lila is on her honeymoon, prompting him to redirect his journey to New York. As fate intertwines the lives of Louis, Lila, and the now-adolescent Evan, who has adopted the persona of August Rush, the narrative takes a dramatic turn. Richard Jeffries, Evan's social worker, becomes suspicious of the circumstances surrounding Evan's life on the streets and the mysterious wizard. This suspicion triggers a police raid on the derelict theater that serves as a makeshift home for Wizard and his band of talented, disenfranchised children. In the chaos of the police intervention, Evan manages to evade capture, clinging to Wizard's advice to safeguard his true identity. Now assuming the moniker, August, he seeks refuge in a church, a sanctuary where he befriends a little girl named Hope. Hope becomes the conduit through which August's incredible musical talents are brought to the attention of Reverend James. Reverend James recognizes August's extraordinary abilities and introduces him to the world-renowned Juilliard School. August, once again, captivates the faculty with his innate musical genius. In the heart of New York, Lila, driven by an unwavering maternal instinct, storms into Richard Jeffrey's office. The urgency in her voice echoes as she argues with case officers about the seemingly interminable six-month wait to re-establish contact with her son. Jeffries, keenly observing the emotional turmoil, steps in and identifies Evan as her long-lost son. Using key identifiers like the birthday and hospital details, he bridges the gap that time and separation had woven between mother and child. As Lila embarks on the search for August, however, the story takes an unexpected twist when Wizard, the enigmatic figure from August's life on the streets, disrupts the rehearsal claiming to be his father. In a dramatic intervention, Wizard manages to pull August out of the school, injecting an element of suspense and uncertainty into the narrative. On the day of the concert, August finds himself back in his familiar spot in Washington Square, torn between his desire to perform at the concert and Wizard's plans to smuggle him across the country for performances. It's here that he encounters Louis, his unsuspecting brother. Unaware of their blood relationship, they engage in an impromptu guitar duet, their melodies weaving a powerful connection that transcends the boundaries of family ties. August confides in Lewis about his dilemma, torn between his longing to play at the concert and the looming threat of Wizard's influence. Lewis, without knowing the familial connection, encourages August to pursue his dream and take the stage. It's a poignant moment of encouragement from a brother who remains oblivious to the profound familial ties that bind them. With the support of newfound ally Arthur, August manages to escape Wizard's clutches through the labyrinthine New York subway system. Lewis, having performed with his reunited band, catches wind of Lila's name on one of the banners and heads for the park. Simultaneously, Jeffries, having stumbled upon a misplaced flyer for August Rush, races against time to reach the concert. August arrives in the nick of time to conduct his Rhapsody, a composition that emanates from the depths of his soul. The performance captivates the audience, but more importantly, it acts as a magnetic force drawing both Lila and Lewis to the spectacle. In a heart-stirring moment, they are reunited with their lost son. As August concludes his rhapsody, he turns to discover Lila and Louis in the audience, a radiant smile illuminating his face. In that moment of realization, he understands that he had been right all along, the music had led him back to the arms of his parents. Culminates in a crescendo of joy, proving that love and music have the power to reunite even the most separated souls. We really hope you enjoyed today's recap of August Rush. Please leave a comment below of what you loved about the movie and why. Be sure to like the video and please don't forget to support our channel by subscribing so you don't miss any amazing content. Until next time, lights, camera, action. We look forward to seeing you in our next video.